What's up, guys? I'm back with another Mac. Hey, that's that angle's not that angle's no good. What's up, guys? I'm back with another Mac video because I just screwed this hard drive up and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So, if you're selling a MacBook, you want to erase the hard drive, right? Get rid of everything. This hard drive was in the 2012 MacBook Pro that I sold, but I gotta fix it because I went into Disk Utility and erased it and I formatted it APFS. That's Apple's new formatting system for hard drives and High Sierra doesn't seem to like it. Now any computer that is older than 2012, so 2010s and 2011 MacBooks can only uh, use High Sierra. They can't upgrade to the new Mojave that just came out in September 2018. So you're stuck with High Sierra with those computers and they seem to want Mac OS extended journal format. Now it's weird when you format a hard drive to APFS all of a sudden when you go to disk utility you lose all those options. It only has APFS options. Uh, it's very strange. I was doing some research to try to figure out how to fix it. Some people have like terminal commands that you could put in. That's always intense. I don't really like messing with the terminal if I don't have to. So I figured out a way to do it in disk utility on recovery mode and I'm going to show you right now. So let's get to it. Now keep in mind you don't need another MacBook. This is the messed up hard drive. This MacBook is working well. Um, you know, I didn't know that until this happened, so you could pretend that this hard drive is in the computer. I'm going to use my external bay as I normally do in my videos. This is a really handy thing to get. It's called a static connector. Um, it just makes it a little easier if you have a broken computer. I removed mine because I didn't know what to do until now. But if you were selling your MacBook, what you would want to do is press the power button, then hold Command R, and you're going to wait until you see recovery mode. You'll see like the Apple and the loading screen. You don't really have to hold this for very long. I usually do until I see the Apple icon. And then we'll be in recovery mode where we can use the disk utility to erase the hard drive to then reinstall the operating system and then sell this computer. Now, I'm going to show you where I screwed up and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Alright, so we're in recovery mode now. I'm going to put the power adapter on just to play it safe. Now, here's my hard drive. Like I said, doesn't matter if it's the one that's in the computer or if you're doing it this way. I just happen to have a spare MacBook to test it out. So, if I was going to wipe this computer out to sell it, I would do this and Disk Utility, Continue, and in Disk Utility, I have this external plugged in, but on your regular computer, you would just have this, you would click Erase, uh, I'm not going to do that to this because I need it, so I'm going to do it on my external, same process though, so click Erase, and it's going to ask you what format, so I was like, oh, I'll do APFS, that's Apple's new system, must be better, right? So I erased it and reformatted the computer to be APFS. Now, remember, this is a 2011, 2010 computer, so it can't do the new Mojave operating system, which requires APFS. So you have to have Mac OS extended, and that's what got me. So I did this, and then all this stuff pops up, but it's fine, then it goes away. Then I'm going to exit Disk Utility, I erase the computer, nothing's on it, and then I would reinstall Mac OS to have it where, like, you know, when you first buy a computer, you open it up and it asks you, like, you know, to set it up. That's where I would leave it. So I would go through this process and install the operating system. Now, it kept failing. It wouldn't work because that's APFS. Now, it was super tricky to find a solution on how to, to reformat that. Now, I'm not gonna install the operating system right now for this demo, so I'm gonna quit that. I have other videos about that you could check out. But what would happen is it would fail, and that's what happened to me before. So if I went back to Disk Utility to reformat this drive to Mac OS, I was like, I, that must be the problem, right? 
So I'm like, all right, I'll just erase it again and reformat it. Tons of options, right? No, not when you've already done this. I only have APFS options. Now, I have took this hard drive and I plugged it into my iMac, my other MacBook, 2012, my 2015 MacBook, and then this 2010 or 2011 MacBook that's here, and th all the same thing. I was like, oh, maybe it's just like a Mojave thing or whatever, no this is it so I'm like what am I gonna do how am I gonna reformat that drive to be Mac OS extended otherwise like it's useless and you know if you have a PC maybe you could plug it in there and like totally wipe this drive in a different way but that's kind of a pain for me right now so I found some solutions where you can use the terminal but like I said that's always sketchy to me so I dove in deeper to disk utility and I found this super easy solution I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna make sure the external's highlighted because I'm doing it on that one, not the internal. Like I said, if you're doing it on the one that's in your computer, just do internal for everything that I'm doing. What you would do is click edit, delete APFS volume. It's gonna ask you this. I have that highlighted. Delete, done. That's it, that's all you have to do. No terminal, no nothing, it's that simple. So, now this volume is gonna like eject itself. Now for me, that's an external, so it's not showing up anymore. What I need to do is just quit disk utility and reopen it, and then it will be there. See, now it's here under container disk 21, whatever it named itself. Um, and it says it's an APFS container. I'm gonna click erase. Look at that. All my options are back. So I'm just gonna leave it untitled for now. I'm gonna click Mac OS Extended Journaled. Like I said, I wanna get High Sierra on here. So I'm gonna erase it once again. You could click Show Details if you wanna kinda of see what's going on. And that's it, we're done. It kind of took a little bit, so don't get nervous. I'm gonna click done. If I click this, look at that, Mac OS Extended Journal. Now I'd like to rename it to Macintosh HD, just to keep everything normal. So Macintosh HD. Now it's gonna reformat it again, but hey, whatever. It takes a second now. Hit erase again successful done and that's it now it's fixed I got rid of that APFS volume and I can reinstall Mac OS high Sierra on here with no problems so I hope that helped you find a simple solution if you like this video and help you please give it a like a subscribe and if you want to see something else or you have some questions feel free to drop a comment I try to be as responsive as I can to answer them and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Just caught four pairs of Yeezys while I'm driving. You see I got this on my lap, and every time I got access, I pull over and I buy. So I'm on my way to the Supreme Drop. Yulia's already at the Brooklyn store for her drop spot at one. Mine's at three in Manhattan. I'm gonna stop by and visit her and see what's going on in Brooklyn. And then I'm gonna head to my spot in Manhattan and cop all the Yeezys on the way. All right, you see me, I got the, you already know, you already know. All right, it might be the plug. I'll see you in Brooklyn, peace.